We're going to get started seated. You're ready. So on your block, just one block today. I can't. Hey, Annie, hey, I didn't hear what you said because I was waking up the kids. What did you? Oh, that's okay. I just said hi. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Just one block. Yeah. All right, so we'll sit up nice and tall. Moving your shoulders a little bit up, back and down. Moving your jaw. Maybe a little tip of your head side to side. And then when you're ready, settle down with your shoulders. Let your eyelids fall down. And then exhale, move out. Letting an inhale come back in. And then exhale, move out. Breath in. And breath out. Start this morning taking a moment to do a little bit of a visualization. As you're in your tall, comfortable seat, imagining that you're sitting on a park bench. You're sitting on a park bench. Maybe in a grassy area. There's a little road in front of you. There's some traffic. And as you're sitting on this bench, noticing the traffic, just watching the cars go by. Allowing yourself to see some cars driving by in both directions. Some are going quickly. And some are going slowly. And you're just watching them. Pass on by. Maybe a few of the cars catch your attention because of their shape, speed, or even color. But then you also notice and feel you're still just sitting on the park bench watching. Now maybe the traffic has built up a little bit on this, this small road, cars on both sides. And the traffic begins to dissipate. Still just watching, watching from a distance. And there might be a particular car you notice. Maybe it's bigger. Maybe it's smaller. And 
breathing and you also come back to note where you are on the park bench to the side of traffic. Just here watching the traffic for another minute or so. Knowing that you don't always have to focus on the traffic. Remember to notice the park you're in, the bench you're on, the sun that's out. Your attention might drift into those three spaces, the traffic, your environment, and you. Sometimes your attention might linger in one of those spaces longer than the other. That's okay. Before you get off your park bench and mentally come back onto your mat, just taking a moment to realize that traffic is like your thoughts. It's kind of always happening at a different pace. Thoughts hold different weight in your own mind. We don't get in every car you see. You don't have to attach to every thought that drives by in your mind. You could. You don't know where it'll take you. It'll take you somewhere but you can choose to be an observer on your park bench, in your own park, watching the traffic, watching your thoughts from the side. As you just get to be. Maybe there's a particular thought on this day that's trying to get you to get in the thought car. Just politely wave. Say, no, oh, no, thank you. Maybe I'll catch the next one. Maybe not. And let that thought drive on. Start to let that visualization dissolve and fade in your mind's eye. Step a little bit more back into your body, wriggling your spine up a little higher, lightly pulling your shoulders down from your ears. Taking about five deep breaths in through your nose out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, three more, Ready? 
body. Allow your hands to lift from your legs. Palm to palm in front of your heart. Chin to chest. Big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly open your eyes. Release your hands. Hands down to the ground so you can come off your block. Left leg out to the side, right sole of your foot to your left inner thigh. Equal on your sitting bones. Left hand to your right knee, twisting away from your legs. Inhale up, exhale turn. And it's the first twist of today. So be nice to your spine. Pay attention to your breath. And start to feel a little bit more connection between the bottom of your right foot and the inside of your left thigh. Neck is comfortable, maybe slightly turned over your right shoulder. One more breath in. Finish it with an exhale. Unwind on your inhale. Keep your left hand where it is. Go ahead and take your right arm up, over, and then you'll just lift your elbows so you're crossed. Right elbow on your left, hug and wiggle side to side. Shoulder to shoulder, rib to rib. Oh, hi, puppy. <laughs> Come back to the middle, elbows up and down, up and down. Jaw open and closed. And as you come back to the middle, keeping your elbows bent, just release them, pull back into a cactus shape, and then switch. Hug, wiggle side to side. <clears throat> Center, and then up and down. Notice where your sitting bones are. Then come back to center, <clears throat> release your elbows, pull them back, left to your left shoulder, chin down just a little bit, right to your right shoulder. Good. And then as you come up, right forearm down to the mat, side body, reach your left arm up and over, feel that nice opening in your skin, your ribs, your lungs, and then maybe turn your head, look down at your forearm. Pull your left shoulder down from your ear. So you also plug your whole arm down into your shoulder socket. Yep. And then push through your forearm. Inhale, come up. Good. And switch. Right leg out. Left foot in. Starting with the twist after you find your sitting bones. Right arm, left knee or thigh. Inhale, up. Exhale, turn. Flexing firmly into your right ankle. And then again, you do want to feel that effort and connection of your left foot to your inner right thigh. So both ankles are pretty active. Breath is even more active. You turn from your middle with a slight turn at your neck. Notice if your right sitting bone is coming off the floor. Let it be a little heavier. Yeah, so you're equal down on the ground. Last two rounds. Unwind on an inhale. This time a little different with your arms. Left arm up. Bend through your left elbow. Just like you take a tricep stretch, bring it to the middle. And then try to lift your chin so your chin's not all the way down, pushing your head back into your forearm and upper arm. Good, just a nice little opening on the back of the upper arms and armpits. Slowly switch, take your right elbow, move it to the middle, chin parallel to the ground as you press your head back. Good, flex, flex, flex through your foot, toes up. Chest up as well. Relax your jaw or move it. 
One more breath in. This time, exhale, release your arms. Left forearm down, right arm up and over. Ah, feel that stretch. And then turn your gaze down to your left forearm. Pulling, yep, nice job, Candace. Pull your whole arm into your shoulder socket. So you've got that space on the side of your neck. One more breath in. Exhale out. Push to your forearm, come up. Go back with your left leg out. And as you bend your right knee, take the inside of your right knee and the big toe side of your foot down with enough cushion. And it's okay this time for your glute to be off the ground a little bit. Yep. And turn towards your straight leg. So hand down to your knee. Inhale, lift up through your chest. Exhale, turn towards your left leg. Yeah. And then make sure your back hand, your left hand is comfortable, tented, flat, or fist. You can feel a lot of that internal rotation at your right hip socket, at your right inner thigh. Look over your back shoulder. Breathe in and out. Good, one more breath in. Exhale to finish. Inhale to unwind. And now you're just gonna take a very gentle twist towards your bent leg. Yeah. Good, breath in and out. Unwind as you inhale. Slight lean back so you can take your right hand to your inner knee, foot down. But then you're going to let your knee fall to the side, come up and down. So you're just going to move through your hip socket. Trying to keep your foot in a stationary place. You got it. In and out. Up and down. One more time. And then to the other side we go. Right leg out. Slight lean to your right glute to bend your knee. Slight to take the outer ankle. Take it behind. Different way instead of always doing the foot to inner thigh. Yep. Twisting towards your straight leg. Left hand somewhere on your leg, thigh, knee, calf. Inhale up, exhale, gentle turn. Because it does feel different and maybe intense on your left hip socket. Pull through your chest. Pull through your breath. Active through both feet. Mm -hmm. And that turn of your chin towards your right shoulder. Just to get those muscles on the left side of your neck. Last two breaths. Unwind as you inhale. Slight turn. Towards your bent leg, it doesn't need to be as much. Just letting your hip socket open up. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, lean back. You bring me a helping hand, and you can bring your foot. It's helpful to bring it more in front as you go in and out. Yeah, and you can use your hand, you can not use your hand. And if it feels like too much on your hip socket, just don't go as much side to side. Just a little pendulum swing. Right and left. Mm -hmm. Back to the middle, both legs out. If you want to go more than 90 degrees, you can. If 90 feels good, make that L shape. Feet up, chest up. Hands start on your shins and then just hinge forward, tucking your chin. Good. Now, shoulder blades together on your back. So. Might even pull your arms back and then shoulders down. Yeah. And then just leaning. You can always back off with your inhale. Lean with your exhale. Back off with your inhale. Lean with your exhale. Just about a handful more. If you notice your shoulders are still rounding, Feel free to take your hands behind you so you have that extra 
tangible movement of your arms towards each other so your shoulder blades move towards each other. Toes up. They might turn in a little bit, that's okay. Two more. And then as you inhale, come up. Good. Taking your right leg again, back into that internal rotation position. As you bend your left knee, you can take your foot on top or just top of your, bottom of your foot to the top of your thigh. How's that feel? Thumbs up, yeah? So maybe even pick it up a little bit more towards your hip crease. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. But notice if you're leaning tower of Pisa, which you're not. Okay, now, you don't want your inner right knee to be too much on the floor. Mom, are you also good? My mom's also here. She's just like in the hallway over there. Mom, is your knee good? Okay. <laughs> Point that. Now, take your right hand. You're going to turn it so your fingers are down towards the ground. Mm -hmm. Lean forward, and you're going to lift your left knee, putting your hand flat. Mm -hmm. And you stay leaning forward because you have to have like pretty weirdly long arms to sit straight up. And then you're just going to turn a little bit from your legs. So left fingers are supporting you. Yep. Just a different movement for your wrist. Find a comfortable place for your neck. One more breath in. Exhale, start to walk, release your wrist. Now you're gonna to twist towards your feet. You can put one hand on each foot, turning, turning from your neck, breathing in your nose. Good. If your foot slides down, which right, happens also with slip yoga pants, you can bring your heel back up and in towards your hip, and you can hold it. You can also hold your foot if it likes to slide down. Yeah. And then right hand to your left. What is that? Right hand, twister, right hand, right foot. Huh. Red mat. Ah. One more breath in. Good. As you unwind, we're going to come back with your forearm down to the ground like we did earlier in Johnny Shirshasana. Reach up and over. A whole arm bone. Pull it into your shoulder socket. Yep. And then let your head come down an inch. Yeah. Breath in and out. Push through your forearm to let you come up on an inhale. Pick up your foot, remove it, and then turn towards your mat so both knees come up. Seated windshield wiper. Up and down. Side to side. No, oh, Candace, I'm doing the same thing. Teacup. Mom, you got your teacup too? I did. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> That's a nice thing about being at home. Oh, yeah. I just want to sip a coffee during class. It's great. All right. To the other side. So, inner knee. Yep. And you can orient so you can see as best as you can. Left glute can be off the ground. You can take your foot to your, the outside of your knee, more into a half lotus. And it is helpful if you do find that your foot slides. I kind of do the point the foot, flex the toes, and it helps, helps my foot not slide down my yoga pants. Now, left hand, lift your right knee, you're gonna put your hand under, lean forward, and then just turn away from your legs with a lean. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. So the outside of your right knee is on the top of your left hand. Now, if you're up too high, it's going to stress out your lower back. So that's why we're leaning forward. I'm talking to you, mom. There you go. Turn to the side. Relax your jaw. Now, 
Notice if your left shoulder is getting up there, pull it on down. Last two breaths. Notice how your wrist feels. Notice if you slowly release it, turning towards your feet. Again, feel free to hold your right foot, left hand, left foot, turning towards your feet. Breathing in and out. Belly button back towards your spine as you exhale. And then unwind as you inhale. Right forearm down, left arm up and over. Space from your ear to your shoulder. Yep. Reaching, reaching, reaching all the way out through your fingers. Good. Two more breaths. Stretch into that side of your ribs. And then this time, slowly see if your foot can come down. You'll turn towards your chest and belly, onto your belly all the way, feet up, knees wide, and windshield wiper this way. Feet side to side, you can make a little pillow with your hands. Watch out for any walls that are next to you. Good. Now let your feet come back up towards the ceiling. Point your feet, curl your toes. So point your feet, curl your toes. Windshield wiper your ankles side to side. Oh, with your feet pointed. It's hard. If you get a cramp, flex your feet. Move them around. Mm -hmm. Now, flexing your ankles, do the same thing. Windshield wiper just your feet. Right? We're used to doing the knees, just doing the feet. Windshield wiper. Good for your brain. Side to side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then point your feet, curl your toes. Keep your feet pointed, pull your toes back, flaunt your feet. And then release your legs behind you. Hands underneath you. It's good several rounds of Cobra. So just start when you're ready, and I'll tell you when to stop. Really trying to move your head, neck, and chest as one unit. So they all lift and lower together. Good, you can pull your hands back even more towards your sides so your elbows are higher up towards the ceiling. So a little pointier in the elbows. Yeah, then squeeze your elbow points together. Now for these next few, put a tiny bit of press into your hands. Maybe you notice your shoulder blades can come together more firmly. Maybe you notice that feels better for your lower back. And I know I always say, hover your hands, but sometimes a little press, I've been experimenting with it, can actually help decompress your lower back. But you don't want to get overly reliant on your arms. Take one more, and then rest. One side of your face on the ground, arms by your side. Exhale. <sighs> and see if you can go right into that calmer place. Maybe you can even go to that visualization of you sitting on a park bench. Maybe you're by a different road in a different park, watching the cars go by. Maybe you turn your head on your mat. Still mentally on that park bench, but just turning your head to look in a different direction. 
watching the cars go by. Watching the pace of traffic fluctuate. Last two breaths. You can start to dissolve the image, the visual of you on the park bench. Notice your body on the mat. As you put your forehead down, hands under your armpits, find Balasana, child's pose with your block. Arms pretty relaxed, elbows deeply bent. Breath into the back of your body. Full in, full out. Little movement of your forehead, eyebrow to eyebrow, maybe even temple to temple. Then coming back to center. Now taking some longer breaths in, longer breaths out, in, and out. more. And now slowly pulling yourself up into tabletop. Block on the highest height underneath your left hand. Right foot up. Back toes tucked. Back knee lifts and rock forward and back on the ball of your right, to me, your left foot. Left foot forward and back, a little bend and straightening into your front knee. Not too much passing your ankle on your right foot. And then just settle in. Hold your runner's lunge. Right hand can be wherever it feels comfortable. Down on the ground, on your thigh. Mm -hmm. A little bit more lean forward in your torso. And then inhale, begin to straighten your right leg halfway. Exhale, bend knee above your ankle. And then just work with that. Every inhale, lengthening your, the back of your knee. Every exhale, stacking your knee atop your ankle. Slowly working into your right hamstrings. You can even point your left hip a little bit more down towards the ground. Noticing the outside of your left hip and thigh. And then the next time it's straight, hold it there. Feel free to back up the left hand and block so you're a little bit more supported. Maybe you lean your torso down towards your right leg. It doesn't have to be all the way. 
Knee doesn't have to be in your nose. Keep pointing your left hip bone down, down, down. Keep reaching the top of your head forward and your tailbone back. Even as you're leaning down, you're still reaching your crown ahead. And the next inhale, start to lift your torso, bend your left knee, take some steps up into a half lift with your block. So both hands on the block, tiniest little bend in your knees, looking straight at the floor. Good, exhale, bend both knees, but put more weight in your heels. Inhale, put more weight in the balls of your feet as you straighten your legs. And so you'll do that with every breath. Exhale, bend, weight in the heels. Inhale, lengthen, shift to the front of your feet. Yeah. You can even let your toes lift as you go to your heels and fan your toes as you move forward to your feet. Last two. Good, and then as you unwind, block underneath your right hand. Give your foot, left foot a helping hand forward as you move your right leg back into runner's lunge. Yep, go other side. Anywhere with your left arm as you walk, kind of wriggle forward and back, ball of your back foot, and it's okay, you know. I know I'm the knee police, but if your left knee just slightly passes in front of your ankle, it's okay. Forward and back, forward and back. Mom, switch hands. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> forward and back. Breath in and out. And then allow yourself into that strong, stable runner's lunge. Pull the right hand and block back a little bit. Yep, so it's right underneath your shoulder. There you go. Good. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, hinge at your knee. Inhale, straighten. All right, this leg is different. Try not to treat it the same as your right leg. Although it might be similar, see if you can really tap into the tiny differences, leg to leg, day to day. Watch how much pressure is happening on your right hand. Yep. And then about two more. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. You keep it straight and gently lean your torso forward as you point your right hip a little bit more square to the ground. You can even make a fist with your left hand to make your arm a little longer. Your left hand. Yep, yep. Make sure it's on the mat so it has that cushion and not right on the floor. Still with a long spine. Breathe into those left hammies. All three of them. Last two breaths. As you move forward, bend into your left knee, quarter turn, wide legged forward fold, bring your block. Mm -hmm. Blocks, yeah, I like the two blocks. Two is better than one. Try not to pigeon toe in this time. So just feet parallel, because we're gonna do the same thing we did in the forward fold with the feet more just more typical distance apart. So you're gonna bend your knees, weight a little bit back into your heels. Inhale, lengthen your legs, shift to the balls of your feet. So you're just gonna do a little lean back. So no part of your heel or the ball of your foot actually moves from the mat. You're just shifting and transitioning weight. 
Exhale, bend your knees, bum back. Inhale, lengthen through your knees, weight forward to the balls of your feet. Yeah. And get that first before starting to lift your toes as your heels get heavier. And then fan, spread, press your toes down as you lean forward. Good, so long in your spine, like you're in a half lift. There you go. Hmm. Now three more. With or without your toes lifting or lowering, they can stay down. And when you're ready, come in the middle. Might bring your feet a little closer in. Maybe pigeon toe, turning your toes in. Wide legged forward fold. So you can start to let your torso hang down. Any variation with your arms. We haven't done too, too much in the shoulders, so it might feel nice to hold your hands behind you, reaching your knuckles up towards the sky. Good, change anything about your feet to keep it nice, stable, and centered. Yep. Belly towards your back. And that's just, you know, you can just do that with an exhale. As you empty your lungs, you just feel your belly button move towards your lower spine. Last three breaths. And then you'll transition towards your right foot. Bring your left knee down. Mm -hmm. And then you'll just sit back. Yeah, take a block. A block. Down to the ground. Yay, yay. How are your hamstrings today, Candace? Uh, like tight, tight? Yeah, okay. Okay. So here we go for the hammies on your back. Right leg up, left leg long. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Start there. Do your best to keep your whole back, including your shoulder blades, your neck. Well, the back of your neck shouldn't be flat to the ground, but your neck towards the ground, the back of your head. And then just maybe take your hands a half an inch high. Yep. Very subtly working your exhale, bring your whole leg a little closer. Inhale, your whole leg away. So just moving your leg closer and farther away. Now at any time, feel free to grab a strap, a scarf, or anything. And as your leg comes back away from you, see if you can go to your calf. Yeah, yeah. And then do the same thing. A little closer. And then a little farther away. And it can feel, you know, exhale might be better to bring it in. Inhale might be better to back it off. But that's totally up to you. If it ends up being an inhale bringing it closer and an exhale backing it off, because typically when we lengthen, we do want to inhale. So you might try that more reversed breath. And then let go of your leg completely. Keep your right leg up in the air. 
Take your block, any height, right? All three heights, and you're gonna take your right leg out to the side and see if it can be propped on the block. And it can be towards your thigh, it can be on your knee. You can also hold up your leg with your right arm. Yep, yep. So this is more, right? It's not quite at your middle hamstring. You feel it in your hip, but if you can keep flexing through your right foot, it's also gonna help your hamstrings. Just getting them at a little different angle, a little different focus. Exhale, bend your right knee. Take your right hand to your outer thigh. You're gonna pick up your left knee. So your knees are close. Over to the left side, twist. And if you wanna scoot your bum a little farther to the right, you can just do a little pick up, scoot your bum, and then just twist. And you can be straight up or turn to the right. Breath out. Maybe your eyes close. And then very slowly letting your top leg, your right leg slide down. So it's like the bottom of your left foot is towards the top of your right knee, so you're in that pinwheel shape on your back. Exhale, both knees up. And we're gonna go in a different order. So you're just gonna pick up your hips, take them to the left, both knees up and over to the right. Spinal twist first. To the right side. So just reversing the order. Nothing changes too much about your breath. Well, you might need to refocus on it. Allowing your body to settle into the spiraling shape Let the left leg slide off the right. So the bottom of your right foot comes towards the top of your left knee. And then windshield wiper your knees up. Wiggle back onto your mat. Right leg extends, left leg up. Interlace your fingers behind your left hamstrings. And again, maybe you start with the reverse breath. Inhale, leg closer. Exhale away. That might feel more productive for your hamstrings. As long as your entire back body and all the way also, right, back of your head, shoulder blades, spine, sacrum, right bum, all the way to your right heel. Then you take your hands a little higher. See if you can soften through your left foot. Doesn't have to be active here. And then maybe moving that basket of your hands, your palms up towards your calf. And it might be too much to move it in and out. This might be plenty to just have it here. Can extend your leg a little more as long as it feels it's helpful, not hurtful. Three more breaths.
Start to lower your hands on your left leg. Bend your left knee. Bring your right knee up. So it's like a child's pose on your back. Knees wide, big toes together. Rock side to side. And then you can hold behind your knees. Separate your feet. You can hold it at your shins, at your calves. You can hold your ankles, your feet, happy baby. And if you'd like that extra little something for your hamstrings, straighten one leg out to the side as you lean that way. Come to the middle, straighten the other leg and lean that way, that'll help. And then you can go leg to leg, you can go both at any time. Again, just a little different angle for your hamstrings. Four more breaths wherever you go. See if you can press your sacrum down into the mat. Good. One more breath. And then as you release your legs, we're just trying to choose a different way to rest today. So that could be in restorative bridge, one block, lowest height. If you want to rest the legs up the wall, butterfly, constructive rest, kind of a constructive bridge where you can take the lowest block. So it's a combination between restorative bridge and constructive rest, feet apart. Inner knees together. And just wiggle around and find what works for you to rest. I'm going to take a full five minutes. You start to do a little unplugging from your breath. It's not that it won't be there. If you just wiggle the plug out so you're not as focused on your breath, your whole current in your body feels a little calm, less working. Just allowing rest.
take your time. Inhale and exhale. there is a block underneath you, just take a calm path to remove it and set it to the side. Move in any way, again, without hurry, to bring yourself maybe onto your side, and then up to a seat. Try the least path of resistance. Up to sit. Last two minutes. Just sit yourself on your park bench. Maybe you notice that the traffic is calmer. The cars are moving slower. You're able to notice more of the sky around the cars, clouds, birds, trees, sun, the open space around you that's been there the whole time. And now you're not so hyper focused on the traffic. You notice where you're sitting, where all the space is around you. And now it's been there the whole time, even when you didn't realize it. And now you can sit a little calmer. Breathe a little slower and notice a little more. Now that hopefully the traffic in your mind is slowed down. Maybe it's even just one car at a time. There's no cars for a little bit. Just space. Lift your hands, bring them together in front of your chest. We'll take three breaths all together. In. Out. In. And out. Sit tall one more. <sighs> Bow your head. Open your eyes slowly. And release your hands. Happy Friday. Oh, look who's visiting us. Do you remember me from the cookie shop? She's like, no, I'm going away. <laughs> Have a great Friday, Candace. Mom, come say hi. Oh, sure. Come say hi. That's awesome. I'm sorry to see you've been hiding in the corner the whole time. This is hey. Jane. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amy Jane. You're welcome. Are you, you're out of town, huh? Yeah. Just, just yeah. hang out with the parents. So I'll be back on, I fly back Wednesday. Oh, nice. That's so nice. Well, enjoy your time. Thank you. Good to see you. Have a Good to see you. You too. Bye.